This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show starring your favorite video games and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Uh, thank you very much, Kevin. Hi, welcome to Starcade. Here we are backstage where our players are warming up for today's big match because today, one of these teams is going to have the opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. So, players, you're all set? Everybody ready? Come on, Erica, let's go play Starcade. Here we go. There, Jeff and Susan over here, Adi Ka and Chuck right there. Ah, oh, that hall gets longer and longer every day. <laughs> all right, here we are. This is where it's all going to happen. Let's meet our contestants. On my right, we have Adi Ka. Yeah, hello. Hello, how are you? What does Adi Ka stand for? You know? First, first, um, first, first husband. husband. Yeah. What is it, Chuck? First child of second husband. First child of second husband. Okay, what would first child of first husband be? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I didn't have one. <laughs> well, you <d> <laughs> All right. What do you do for a living, Chuck? I'm an artist. Uh, I'm a freelance artist. I uh, work. I have my own company. Uh, I'm management and labor, unfortunately, at the time. <laughs> okay. It's nice to have you here. Wish you good luck. Uh, Arika, good luck to you. And now the uh, mother and son team over here. And your name is? Jeffrey. Barry. Now, I know what Jeffrey means. <laughs> you know what that means? <laughs> Wonderful, strong, handsome, terrific person. <laughs> yeah. And your mom is? Susan Beerman. I'm an elementary school principal in Norco, California. So you grade the papers and then whip off to the arcades to play the games, huh, Susan? That's right. All right. As you know, our contestants are matched up based on their ability in playing today's games. And one team here is going to have the chance to win this fabulous video arcade game. It is Tron. All right, everybody, let's shake hands. Let's go play Starcade. <laughs> Good luck to both teams. And while they're getting ready, Kevin, what do you have in store for them today as far as the games go? We've got some great games today, Jeff, including a couple of my personal favorites, starting with Sinistar, where evil lives and hungers. Then on to Berserk, survival against the robots and evil Otto. Next is Munchmobile, a grab for food along the road. Then on to Zookeeper, a run to keep the animals caged. And finally, Bubbles. And this game is a mess. And uh, Jeff, didn't you used to have a girlfriend named Bubbles? <laughs> yes, I did, but she popped off once too often, Kevin. All right. <laughs> Those are today's five games, and all of you have had a chance to play them before today's show. Now, one of them, as you know, is a mystery game. If you pick it in the first three games, a valuable prize is automatically going to be yours, and Kevin is going to tell the home audience uh, what the mystery game is. Today's mystery game is Bubbles. Hard as we try out here, we can't hear what he says. It's a secret to everybody, uh, to all of us here, people at home know. Booths and Bermans, I have a question for you. I'll ask you the question. First team to buzz in gets to answer it. Whoever buzzes in has to answer as far as the team goes. Answer it correctly, you'll pick the first game. Here's a question. Hands on buzzers. The object of the game fantasy is to A, rescue Sherry from a variety of meanies, or B, reach Paradise Island. <coughs> Booths. Reach Paradise Island. No, sorry, that's wrong. Ah. It's uh, A, rescue Sherry or Cherry from a variety of meanies. That means Beermans, you get a chance to pick the first game. What do you want to play? Bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> and Bubbles is a mystery game. Good for you, Jeff. That's a mystery game. That means you win a prize automatically. Kevin, what did they get for Bubbles? It's Tryon's tabletop electronic air cleaner, a handsome portable that removes tobacco and cooking smoke, dust, and pollen. Let us clean the air for you, Tryon. Oh, good for you, Jeff. You picked the right game offhand. But now, of course, we want to let everybody know how you play Bubbles, and you might want to listen, too. So, Kevin, explain to us how you play Bubbles. Watch out. This is a messy one. There's crumbs, ants, and greasies, and there's just you to clean them up. Stay away from the brushes and sponges until your bubble has a mouth. Score big by grabbing the broom and then sweeping up the cockroach. The Beermans have gotten themselves into a little mess, but looks like a great time to clean up. Yeah, we'll see if they do clean up. Now, let's see, Jeff, you picked Bubbles, right? Mm-hmm. And I presume you're going to play it? No. No? <laughs> My mom's going to play it. Ah, fine, Messy has you in. Uh, you heard what Kevin said and how to play the game. The only other hint I can give you, and you might want to listen to this too, uh, Booths, is when the sink turns green, you can put your bubble down the sink, you get extra points and move on to the next sink. 
Okay. Okay. All right, Jeff, you go over here and you cheer your mom on. Susan, you're all set to go. All right, you have 50 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. Watch out for the brushes. Here you get them out. Get the clean lady. You got her. Good points. Good. Watch out for that roach. Good, good, good. Oh, you're going to be in trouble. Oh. All right. Maybe the sink will turn green. Good. On to the next sink. You're doing fine. 20 seconds left. There you go. Moving good. The sink is green. You got through another sink. All right. Extra points. 15 seconds left. Doing great. Whoa. You're cleaning up. So Stay with us. Huh.